What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So before we jump into today's video, let's take a moment, drop down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, head over to Instagram, head over to TikTok, and give us a follow. You definitely want to be a subscriber to the channel because on Halloween, we're going to announce the winner of the All Powers R600 solar power station. This thing's awesome. I'm going to do a full review. You're going to have the, the big solar panels that fold out to charge this guy, you know, to charge all your devices, wirelessly charge, wirelessly charge your phone. You can run your laptop. You can run a Traeger Grill, all sorts of awesome things. So stick around for that giveaway. And also don't forget about our sponsor, Kiwanu Gear at Kiwanu.com. There we have their sunglass straps. That's right. This is sunglass straps made out of high quality PVC coated wiring. So the same stuff you use for your decoy leads, um, but you're going to get that in sunglass straps. It's really awesome. Keeps your sunglasses tight to you. Very, very durable. I have these in my wife's Ray-Bans. I also use them on my Costa Del Mars. They work great. So make sure you check them out. Use promo code FSREVIEW for 10% off any order over $30. All right, guys. So today's video, we're going to talk about four reasons that I think that your Sitka system may be failing you or why you're unhappy with it. And this isn't just for Sitka gear. This is for... Um, First Light, QU, Shin, whatever, um, Drake, Banded. This is just the way things work when it comes to layering clothing together to get the most out of it while you're um, out hunting, out hiking, out fishing. This is just things that I see people talking about online when they say, I'm cold, this isn't working, this doesn't fit right. And they list the pieces that they have where they reach out to me with questions. I'm running this, this, and this. What should I add? And so I've kind of just four quick topics that I think people that are causing people to be unhappy or just not quite as comfortable or getting cold or wet. And uh, we're just going to talk about them real quick. So it's, we're about to get to the end of October. Next month is duck season, is the rut. So everything's going to be in full swing. So now's the time to tweak your system. Um, so uh, number four, we're going to talk about something that you have to know about yourself, and that's your personal uh, cold tolerance. You have to know if you're cold nature or hot nature, you have to know, do I get cold easy? Just because somebody else says in 30 degree weather, I use this system, these four pieces, you may wear those four pieces and be freezing to death. Um, you just, you have to take that into consideration. I had a guy the other day that reached out and said, you wore this system in 32 degree weather. And you said you were comfortable. I wore it in 39 degree weather and I was freezing. I'm sorry. Um, I told you what I use, what's, what's comfortable for me. I have friends out in Oklahoma that when it's freezing cold, they're wearing half the clothes as me and they're fine. So everybody's cold tolerance is different. So there's no set system for everyone. So you kind of got to know your body a little bit on picking the items, not just Sitka, any items that are going to work the best for you. Um, since uh, Sitka is a layering system, one of the things that I see, number, th number three, is going to be too bulky. I see people that say, yeah, I'm going to rock the ambient jacket, then I'm going to rock the Dakota, and then I'm going to rock my Hudson over top of it. A, you're going to melt, and B, you're going to look like the Michelin man. You're not going to be able to push your decoys out. You're not going to be able to shoulder your gun. You're not even going to be able to get your snacks out of the bag because you're going to be like this the whole time. Um, one of the one of the pieces that everybody likes to get is the Traverse hoodie or Traverse jacket. It's kind of a lower price in jacket. And it's a good jacket. I've got a review on it. But everybody wants to try to cram that thing underneath something like a Jetstream or a Dakota or a Hudson. And it's bulky. And they get it. And then they realize how bulky they are. They're not as mobile. They may not say anything, but I have put all these systems together. And I know that it can be too bulky. Guys can get carried away with what all they're layering. And there are kind of some guys will end up layering sort of the same thing on top of each other when they don't need to. Um, so it's going to bring us into our last two topics that are really going to address these and probably the two most important. And number uh, two is going to be no primolol. So no insulation. And by insulation, I mean synthetic or goose down something that is going to be able to generate heat, something like Fahrenheit vest, an ambient jacket. Um, your Hudson jacket is going to have that Primaloft built into it. Those are the things that are going to be next to your vitals that are going to help generate heat. Um, 
Also, they're going to generate heat, but they're also going to leave you mobile. They're not going to be super puffy and super restrictive like like a, a fleece jacket would be. They're going to be more, going to be more mobile, able to move, and it's going to generate heat. One of the things that I see a lot of people say is I'm getting cold and here are the pieces that I have. And a lot of times there's no permalock. There's no um, grindstone vest, Fahrenheit vest, ambient jacket. There's none of that stuff where they with permaloft to, to go next to their, to uh, go underneath their shell to generate that heat. And you really do need that stuff. Even if it's not Sifka, even if it's just a synthetic down puffy jacket from North Face that you want to put underneath your shell that is going to help generate that heat and keep you warm. And this kind of tailors in with that. But number one is a lot of times when I see people list the things that they have, there's no wind stopper, whether that be just a plain wind stopper a shell like a Stratus, um, or whether that be a Gore-Tex water, Gore-Tex wind stopper, waterproof wind stopper like a Hudson or a Delta wading jacket. For you duck hunters, I see guys out there that say, you know, I'm getting cold and I'm wearing my traverse jacket with nothing else with it you need some Gore-Tex or you at least need like a Dakota jacket to keep the wind off you all that insulation we just talked about with the Permaloft or the goose down um, it's not going to be able to do its job because it's fighting the wind as it's generating heat next to your body the wind's going to be cutting through it and it's not going to be able to you aren't going to get the warmth out of it so when you have your synthetic down or goose down Permaloft and then you put a shell over top of it, beat the wind off of you so that your insulation can actually work. So that's two, two of the biggest things is I see people's systems, they don't have permaloft and they don't have wind stopper. And if they do, they don't have much of it. And that's really going to make a difference in your mobility and your ability to be warm. One of the jackets that I see a lot of people post that they have and they're cold is the Traverse. The Traverse, is not windproof and it's a fleece jacket and it is warm. But when you start dipping out into cold temperatures below the 30s, you need that insulation that works, not just fleece. So um, that's one of the culprits that I see in a lot of videos when people say that they're failing. And if they'll throw something on top of that traverse, like a, um, you can get a stratus over top of it and it'll work pretty well that will allow that traverse jacket to do its job and keep you warm without having to try to fight the wind. All right, everybody, so I hope you like the rundown, the four topics that I think that may be causing your Sitka system to fail. Um, these are just my observations from Facebook uh, groups, people reaching out to me on Instagram. And I think if you just tweak a couple of these things, maybe add a piece, take away a piece, I think you, you may be on to something. You may be comfortable going into uh, waterfowl season, going into the rut. So thank you again for stopping by. Don't forget to drop down below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, Instagram, TikTok, hit us up. Check out our sponsor, Kawanu Gear at kawanu.com. And we'll see you guys next time.